And the thing that you can do with some of these things when they're not too heavy is to put your gel right on the surface. You don't have to have it the exact shape as long as it's in the general area and then you just drop your new piece in onto the wet gel and it will adhere nicely. I didn't quite get to the end of it so I'll just lift that up and add some more. It's easier to do it this way with smaller pieces than it is to try to brush the gel on the piece. And then I always like to do the brayer to squeeze the air bubbles out and make sure that it's firmly attached. Now I have another piece here that I think is going to look nice on this area right through here. Let me check a minute and see if I would rather reverse that. And I think that I like it this way. So I'm going to repeat that process. This is acrylic semi-gloss soft gel. And I don't think I've mentioned since I started working something that's very important. And that is that when you are working with your acrylic mediums, you must be very sure that your brush doesn't dry out. So you can put your brush back into the medium or you can scrape medium out onto your palette and use it that way. And if you get a lot of excess medium, as long as you're working in acrylic and your acrylics are dry, you can lift up the excess if you don't want it to be lumpy.